everybody, my name is Edson, and welcome back to some more Dead by Daylight. This is a brand new series. Uh, it's it's a mini small series that I'm going to be doing on the channel, and it essentially is the underrated perks and the six perks that I think are the most are not the most, but are underrated in the game and not used as often as they should be. Um, and my perk build is essentially dead hard. Always dead hard. Always. Unless I'm doing like a perk challenge, I always have dead hard on. Uh, or unless I'm leveling up as survivor and I don't have dead hard. Dead hard is by far the best perk in the game. Without a doubt, I strongly stand by that. The best perk in the game. Followed strongly by adrenaline and metal of man. Metal of Man, a recent new perk, but it's sort of like the new decisive strike in the sense that it gives you an extra chance. Um, this perk is I've, it's helped me so much and helps survivors so much. I think it will get nerfed eventually, but until then, I'm just going to keep using it. Metal of Man and Adrenaline, because endgame Adrenaline is just so good. Plus then, you don't need to worry about healing yourself. You get healed at the end of the game if you get to it. They're the three perks I always use. Uh, and that's sort of how my Dead by Daylight goes. If I'm playing, just normally, I use those three perks, followed... It used to be Decisive Strike instead of Metal of Man, but now it's just Metal of Man. Uh, so De Dead Hard, Metal of Man, Adrenaline, and then I always swap out the fourth. I just swap out the fourth, use different perks. But there's like... this. I've, I've gone through the perks list, and I've looked at all of the perks that I would put in there. Um, and have put in there. And there's like six that I think are genuinely underrated. So I'm going to do a video for each and just show you guys the, those perks and remind you guys of how good they could be and can be and are, in my opinion anyway. So let's get into it. The first one is Detective's Hunch. When completing a generator, the auras of generators, chests and totems within 64 meters are revealed to you for five seconds. If you hate Noed, this is the perk for you. 100%. If you hate Noed, or any Hex perks, use this freaking perk. If I have a, a night where I just seem to be running into Noed all the time, use this perk. I just use it. I slap it on, I'm like, alright, anti-Noed perk. This is the anti-Noed perk. And I'm going to show you what. Alright, so this is going to be an interesting map for it. Uh, this is actually a really good map for this perk. Because you can genuinely find... The totem's quite easy. Um, but how I treat this perk is... There's five totems on the map, right? You all sort of know roughly how they're spaced out. Everyone knows how totems are spaced out once you've played the game enough. Uh, so you sort of know, like, if you found one in this location, there's not going to be another relatively close. Sometimes there is, but, like, you can sort of guess where the next lot are going to be. So how this works is... I find one totem, destroy it, okay? So there's only four more totems on the map. Then you have to complete the generator and you have to be on the generator when it's completed. I complete a generator and then I, uh, I I see where the rest of the totems are. But there's a there's a big but with this. And that is, if they've got Hex Ruin already and you know that, you need to go and bloody find it. So I'm going to go and do that. And it's clown. So that's two. This map is honestly great for it. Because you can normally see about three totems if you complete a gen. If you complete a sensor gen, you can probably see five of them. So that's two out of the five done. And I haven't actually used the perk yet. But it's normally good. <laughs> So that's three. So we'll use it to get the last two per uh, the last two totems. We'll hop on a gen. We'll complete it. I'll try and do. I think it, it won't really matter which gen we do. There we go. Okay. So once we've done this gen. We'll see 
And I'm glad I brought this really good toolkit in because it catches us up with all the stuff we've missed from the Hex Ruin. It's also good if you don't run like a, an item most of the time like myself. I normally run items in videos, but I don't normally run items when I'm just playing by myself. Because you get to see the chest as well, which is actually really cool. So if it's like a chest that's been unopened, you get to see it. And you can see if it's been opened or not, so you know if, whether to go for it. There we go. So the last two totems. Is that one upstairs? There's that one there, center, and then there's one over there. See how easy that was? Now we know where all five totems are. I want to go for this person first. Now, obviously, I may slightly forget. Uh oh. Don't hit me. That's toxic. That's toxic, sir. At least I'll get my metal of man up. He's got exhaustion? Oh my god. As if he's got exhaustion things. I can't believe he's running exhaustion. What an one idiot. Yeah, this is why I destroyed your totem. We're not going to be able to use dead hard the entire game. He's got exhaustion. He's had a bad day. He's had a real bad day. Alright, so from where we worked, there's one center at the top, and then I think the other one is at the um is at the door. Is that person in the basement? I think that person like in my head right now is in the basement. Great, thanks for the He's not tunneling, which is nice. But he is using exhaustion. I detest exhaustion hatchets and exhaustion like basically exhaustion add-ons. They are the devil. There we go, there's one. And then I think the last one's over there. Or over where was the door? I can't remember. See, you can lose them if you get in a chase before. Where was that? There you go. And that's all five. So, if we get to the end of the game, I slightly doubt it with exhaustion. Uh, bottles. But if we get to the end of the game, there is absolutely no way he can have no idea. All five, done. And that is why I love this perk. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the rest of this game out. Uh, oh crap, I used my toolbox! I'm going to play the rest of this game out. And then we're going to hop into another game. And I'm going to see if we can use Detective's Hunch again. And show you guys how useful it can be. So, see you guys in the next game. We escaped! Thank you. I got Metal of Man up as well. We escaped! We actually did it. And now's the fun part. See whether we did have Noed. He did! He did! We just saved that. We just saved that.
We just saved that detective's hunch. Oh my god. And that is why I love that perk. Alright, on to the next game. Alright, attempt two. See if we can destroy all totems again. So again, I'm going to treat it as the same as last time. One totem done. And then in less... Is he hit? No. And then in less, uh, we find out that they've got ruin. We're just going to work on a gen. Complete the gen, then go to the next totems. And just treat it like that. This is actually good for this map because I don't really know where all the totem spawns are. So it'll be quite good. Are you chasing me? The frick? Oh, I don't believe you. See, I don't know if there's totem spawns. There must be totem spawns down here, right? There's got to be totem spawns down here. Just mend myself real quick. And then we work on this. Missed. Got it. Nice tool. Hopefully we can get this done before he gets here. And sure, but hopefully. So we're almost done it, and now we need to properly look around when this gets done. We'll quickly scan down here. Totem, totem, totem. Okay, we saw three out of the four. Now we need to try and remember where they were. There was like one back there, so we do these two first. There's one over here. She's doing it. There's one over here. And there's one back there. Did we got this right? Maybe not. Oh, you want to get healed. Okay. I've lost where the totems are, Claudette! You're going to have to work on a gem with me, Claudette, and then we can find these totems again. Because I'm a dumb dumb and I've lost them. I was so disoriented when I was down there to, like, figure out where they were. So you got one, so there's definitely two down. Uh-oh. Spaghettios. Finish. Stop going over. No! You son of a bitch. And that's why I don't really like healing against Legion. Me and that Claudette spent all that time healing, and we now need to heal again. 
Like, ah, uh, there is, is one of them. So that's the third. There's one more over there somewhere. And then there's only one more after that. So even in the worst scenario, worst case scenario, so that was a bad case scenario. We saw three. We couldn't really tell exactly where all of them were. And we still managed to get two of them down. And we know roughly where another one is. Oh. Was this the one? Or was this just out of reach? I'm unsure. Either way, we need to work on a gem. So, working on this gen, I may not see another... Oh, great. Bloody great. Thanks, Nia. So, let's try and find a gen that we can work on that's... Okay, maybe not. <laughs> that's going to show us where the next totems are. There's one more totem, and I swear... We don't get this totem and it's no ed. I'm gonna cry. Let's do what all good legions do and tunnel. And I haven't got a single metal of man. What a terrible flashlight, Claude. Drop that flashlight and give it to me. You suck. Oh, but don't you dare farm me. You fuck. Scumbag. What an actual scumbag. If she's got we're gonna live forever, that's the exact reason why those changes are coming in to we're gonna live forever. Oh, they have a VAC ban on their account. They cheat in video games. No. They don't even gonna... Why would you farm someone that much when you don't have We're Gonna Live Forever? What a scumbag. What a sc I hope the killer does have no ed, and I hope it spawns on that one, and I hope they die. What a scum. Anyway, you see how that perk works? When you don't have somebody farming you, the game goes quite well. That perk, anti noed so good. Honestly, it's one of my favorite perks. If, I, if I'm having a bad time, this is the perk that normally goes on. If I'm having like a bad time getting towards the end of a game, getting to the end of a game and Noah gets, gets activated, and I seem to be the one that gets downed, this is the perk I start using. And I focus on the totems more than anything once you like you can do the generators totems don't take long especially if you know where they are the the whole reason why people uh don't go for totems is because of how long it takes and also because of uh they don't know where they are on the map and 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 that's and that's the time the time consumer is finding the totems working on the totems is fine so if you know where the totems are or roughly where they are totems are really easy to just bang out super quick um, and just get rid of them in case they have no ed. Because the amount of killers that run no ed, it's insane. Uh, so this is my first episode of Underrated Perks. Detectives Hunch. There's five more episodes to come. Five different perks. Make sure you look forward to the next one. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Hopefully you guys use 
uh, Detective's Hunch in the near future. Get yourself Detective Tap, level him up, get that teachable, and start using it. Have a wonderful day. Take care.